In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a slide with the Agility WordPress theme. So in Agility, slides are custom post types. So to create a new one, in your admin panel you go to Slides, Add New. This looks just like creating a post. So first we can give our slide a title. Any text that we put here will be displayed as a caption on the image or on the slide. So I'll show you in the demo how these relate. So you can decide whether or not you want to display your title and your caption. So if we were to uncheck these, you'd end up with a pure image slide, which is like the slider on the home page of the Agility demo. All of these slides are simply images. There's no text over them. The text that you can see is actually part of the image. If you were to, en if you were to enable the title in the caption, your slides end up with a caption on the bottom of them from here in an overlay. So beautiful design would be sorry, would be the title and elegantly minimal, beautifully simple would be what appears in the content area. So you can turn one or both of those on or off. Then you can select the slide type, image or text. So you can create a pure text slide if you'd like. And then you can create a link if you wish. You can create a slider or you can create a slide that doesn't actually link to anything, but if you want to, you can have it so that when your user clicks on the image, it brings them to a link. Now, of course, you'll also want to set a featured image for your slide, assuming it's not a text slide. So click set featured, featured image, and we can just drag our image right up there. Click Use as Featured Image because whatever the featured image is is going to display as the slide. Close this window. Now, we can add a slide category if we want. This is one easy way to organize slides into sliders. So, if we call this you know, Main Slider Category. It'll make it easier, easy to group slides that have the same category into the same slider later. However, you can also add multiple categories, so you could use the same slides in different sliders. So that's about it. We, uh, we can publish this slide, and then the result would be something very similar to this where the title is here, the content is displayed as a caption, the image is, the featured image becomes the image of the slide, and when you click, it takes you to the link that you've set here. So that's about it. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to group slides together to create sliders.